42 Storm Team Weather Center, which is very active, tracking Milton. Yeah, Chief Meteorologist joining us now. Milton heading toward Florida. What can we expect? It is. Well, it's starting to make that turn out to the northeast here at 12 miles per hour. It's moving at a roughly 55 degree angle here at this point, which would not quite take it to Tampa. It would have to be wobbled a little bit more closer to 38 to 40 degrees there, and that would take it up toward the Tampa area. It still has potential to do that, but something to watch and see here as it tries to make its way and gets pulled farther to the north as we go into the next 24 hours here. So currently it's a category five still winds of 160 miles our pressure is up a little bit 915 from 902 millibars and the forecast does call for it to start getting a little bit weaker if you will from four category four for Wednesday 7 a.m. to Wednesday 7 p.m. winds down to 130 but still that's a very very powerful hurricane and landfall will occur overnight Wednesday into early Thursday morning by 7 a.m. Thursday it's down to a category one with winds down to 85 miles per hour so landfall could be uh, low end category four a high end category Category three, somewhere there between Tampa and maybe toward the Fort Myers area is what we're looking at there. And then it goes out in the Atlantic here toward Bermuda, gradually losing its tropical characteristics because it emerged with a cold front there. Now, what's going to happen is when it gets to Florida, it's going to really grow in size. So the wind field is going to be pretty significant with this as well, too. Now, as it starts battling that wind shear, you'll see a lot of the rain kind of being pushed to the north in the western side of the center, maybe not so much to the south as we go to about three o'clock in the morning there near Tampa before moving across Florida all night into Thursday morning. So the biggest, strongest winds there kind of stretching from Tampa back down to Sarasota, almost to the Fort Myers area. But notice you can still see some tropical storm force winds in Tallahassee all the way down to Key West. So the entire state of Florida will be impacted by this, but by all means, where it makes landfall, highest storm surge 10 to 15 feet will be expected. While that moves into Florida, we have high pressure to our north, and we're kind of, Birmingham is squeezed between the two of them. So with the tight pressure gradient, it will pick up winds Wednesday night into Thursday across our area. We could see some of those wind gusts maybe gusting over uh, 15 to 20 miles per hour at times. But at the moment, though, we have a few clouds down to the south here from Milton, and we could see a few of those trying to sneak in later to tomorrow. But uh, overall, though, we are looking at fall weather returning for the rest of the week. Cooler, sunny conditions expected here, and your action needs to go enjoy this great break in the heat that we've had here of late. 64 degrees now our temperature with some of those calm winds across the area. 65 degrees in Alabaster, but 55 in Jasper, 59 Coleman, Talladega. Expect low temperatures tonight to drop down to the lower to upper 50s. So nice and cool and comfortable weather for us. Tomorrow we rebound after a nice refreshing morning to 82 in the afternoon with that lower humidity. Winds may pick up a little bit again in the afternoon hours, but then we are talking about cool temperatures as we go on into the every morning through the weekend. Maybe some of you in the 40s. We're going to wake up on Saturday morning. We get to 80 on Saturday, Sunday warmer 84, but check it out. Another front comes through Monday into Tuesday. Highs will be only in the 60s on Tuesday and low temperatures for the first time this season into the 40s. And that's a look at your storm team seven day forecast.